So we got organized, the youngsters, between 15 and 20 years old, not more than that. And we got 20 of them, got together, and we were loading on the railroad the captured ammunition from the Russians where they captured. So all those ammunition was right there on, on the railroad area. And we loaded it on the boxcars, and the Germans sent all the ammunition back to Germany in order to make steel out of it and, and make some new armament through it, from it. When we came back from the boxcars loading till we smuggled in rifles, in, it was kind of cold. We had co long coats. We put it underneath the coat, tied it with our belt, and pinned ourselves up, and take the rifles and bury it in the ground where we were. So it won't be visible. We couldn't have it in the box cast, the rifles. So we kept it there for, for several weeks. And then we got organized one, one night. We got all together and picked up the rifles. And at that time, one had a rifle. He didn't have no bullets. One had bullets, didn't have a rifle. And it was something like a, a, they traded, you know. This one gave him rifle, this one gave him ammunition, and this way we got organized and we all had rifles, you know. And we walked out in the middle of the night, and on the way to the woods, it took us two, two days. And in the daytime, we didn't walk, we were hiding. And in the at night, we were walking until we came to the woods. Then we were walking day and night. It was dangerous at the time, because some of them fled one, two, or three with rifles and went to the woods too. But at that time, you had some Russians from the army, they were already in the woods. They didn't want to be taken prisoners from the Germans, so they went to the woods and they got organized. And when they run in into one, two, and if they had nice rifles or they have nice clothes and things like that, they shot him. They shot him. But we were 20 together, so we were a group, so they ain't gonna shut not 20, you know. So when we went out, we stopped on the way from the, from the labor camp. We stopped after all night walking. In early morning, we surrounded a farmer and sent in two guys to get food because we were hungry, you know. And, and some of them give it willingly, and some of them, they don't have it, and things like that. And then when we got a little serious with them, they came up with the food, you know. They wasn't willing to give it to us. But we went there, and we won. After we got the food, we ate, and we kept on going until we came to the camp where Belsky and the two brothers were organizing a group.